Welcome to the Roundtable. I'm Maura Carlin with Mike Witch, and we're going to the dogs tonight with yep. a pet adoption show. Uh, we're joined by Paula Crankle, who's the president of Pet Rescue. Thank you, and thanks for bringing the animals with you. Um, all of the dogs here tonight are looking for forever homes, maybe yours. It's www.ny-petrescue.org if you're interested. So Paula, who do we have here first? This is one of my fosters. This is Hershey, a little chihuahua, nine pound chihuahua from Corpus Christi, Texas. Um, and she is an absolute sweetie. She probably would do best in a home with adults only because of her size, but she has been a treat. She's housebroken, she sleeps all night, all the good things. She doesn't chew my house, which is always a key feature in, in fostering. So she's How old delicious. Is she? She's about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. So we started taking up dogs from Texas um, a couple of years ago, and then once the, the hurricanes hit and places like Corpus Christi were just washed away, uh, we made a big effort to help them out and take as many dogs as they could so they could then help local people that needed to put their dogs in a shelter until they got resettled. Hmm. So that's how we wound up with a lot of, se this, she's not a senior, but we did wind up with quite a few senior dogs from a rescue there and around Houston. We took quite a few dogs from Houston where we have an ongoing relationship with one of the shelters there. There seem to be more dogs that um, come up here from someplace else that need to be sheltered as opposed to local dogs. Right. Know. Why is that? The Northeast, really northern Ohio, all the way over through Maine, we do a really good job of spay and neuter. So we don't have packs of dogs running through the streets. Um, in other parts of the country where spay and neutering dogs is not a priority, then you have litter after litter and they wind up on the streets, they wind up in shelters and millions of dogs are being euthanized because there's just no place for them. Or they're dumped on the sides of roads or on mountains or in rural areas. Um, and then there are rescue people all over the place that really work hard to get them into their shelters, into their foster homes. But because there are so many dogs, they need places to have them adopted. And we get great dogs from and all over the place. We and this Hershey is why we here. have Hershey. And <laughs> does Hershey need to be outside playing or Her walking park, dog park? She is easy, easy, easy. She gets along with the other dogs in my house. I have um, three of my own dogs and anywhere from three to five or six fosters. And I have a cat and she's perfectly happy. She's not a high energy dog, but she's a dog that loves to go with you. She would be your best friend. So who's next? Why don't we bring in the next dog? Because well, we're we doing have that. nine to go through. You're a volunteer? Yes, everybody at Pet Rescue is a volunteer. And I'm assuming you're looking, always looking for more volunteers. Yes, we are. To walk the dogs or pet Everything. the dogs? or We need people to walk the dogs, to socialize the dogs and the cats. 99% uh -huh. of our cats are local. We do have a really adorable kitty cottage. We need oh. people down there socializing those cats. Um, helping change litter, helping fix things, clean things, just being there for the cats and make them more adoptable. Uh, so we need that. We need people to answer phones, people to help check applications. Um, so if you're interested in volunteering, go back to the website. Go back to the website or email us at nypetrescue at gmail. Okay. Who do we have now? This is Aquaman, another Texas... Aquaman, a yes. superhero? <laughs> yes. Well, Justice League? Yes. Um, <laughs> You kind of run out of names after a while, you know, you can't, the, the days of like everybody being Spot and, uh, yeah. you know, Rover, that's, we don't have that. So it depends, if we get a lot of a litter, a big litter, we try to keep them all with an initial. Okay. So that the B dogs, the C dogs, the D oh, dogs. Man. I once tried to go through the whole alphabet in one year in my own house of fostering, and then a litter got sick around L or M, mm. and that was the end of that. But then we'll have, uh, we've had the... Friends Litter with Rachel and Ross and that whole group. And we've had Aquaman and other superheroes. <laughs> um, so what kind of a home would Aquaman uh, be best in? So Aquaman, where as Hershey is I'm this, sorry, I can't I know, I know. <laughs> where, where Hershey kind of will go anywhere. Aquaman's a very shy dog, has attached himself to the other dog in the household, oh. loves that family. Um, so it's really a, a quieter home. Um, oh, that they have a child, and the dog is great with children. But again, this is a dog that's not going to be your dog that's going to greet people and be happy, and you could schlep all over the place because it's so comfortable. It's going to want more of a quieter, predictable life. But mm -hmm. Hershey, you could see, just walks in and out. He's fine. 
How old? Her uh, Aquaman is also about two. Um, also a chihuahua? A chihuahua mix, about seven pounds. And full and is this full size? Yes, yes. And you could see he's still looking at his foster mom who's over there in the wings and <laughs> he's attached to her. So he will get attached to whatever family oh, brings? absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Um, we, we love our foster dogs, but if all of our foster families adopt their foster dogs, we have no, no place for our dogs to go. Right. So. I've heard that some people are, uh, they think of smaller dogs as yappier dogs. That you know, bark a lot. Um, Is no. That true? Uh, no. No. I've had plenty of big dogs that are barkers. Mm. So it's a just, the, I guess, yappy or barking, it depends on what you can tolerate. Yeah. Okay, okay, well, why don't we bring the next one? And again, if you're interested in Aquaman, <laughs> I'm sorry. I laugh every time I say dog. that. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is another one of my fosters. Yes, this is Liliana. And Liliana is a very active, loving, sweet dog. I would definitely say a high energy family for okay. this little girl. Uh -huh. She loves the other dogs in the house. Not a fan of my cat. Um, or maybe <laughs> okay. likes my cat too much. Aha. Uh -huh. um, not sure. Uh, she is so adorably sweet. Um, and just a delicious dog. Also housebroken sleeps all night, gets along with all the other dogs. Um, just an absolute delicious dog. Is she dog. full now, size now? She's full size. Now, it's interesting about Liliana. She came up in October. She from came Texas up, also? From Texas. She came up with such a horrible skin infection that she's not even posted yet. This mm -hmm. is one of our dogs that we've given extra medical attention to, and we did find a dermatologist who deals with animals, and this, is, this dog is under his care, and it's an amazing process. They do all the same treatment and testing and medication. and So Botox and filler? Yes, they do that also. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. When you say a dog is posted, you mean available for adoption? Yes, yeah. So they're not, you just can't bring a dog in and expect it to automatically be available? Absolutely, because we, first it has to get seen by our vet. That's the key. It has to be updated on our shot. And because we re, we're all about the match, we want to make sure it's the right dog for the right home. Mm. That's why we love foster homes. I could tell you this dog would not be a good dog in a quiet home. She's a great dog. She's not a barker. She loves to run around my yard. She loves, she's great on a leash. She's great in the car. Um, she just, she wants to be in where the action is. Okay, and that's Liliana. That's Liliana. Okay, and we're going to take a quick break and we'll come up with our next set of dogs. So stay with us. Jack? Let, let Jack okay. do it. And we're back. Okay. We've got another friend here. Why don't you tell us who I'm holding? Okay, so you have Stretch. Stretch is a beautiful Aussie Spaniel mix, kind of a very unusual mix. One blue eye, one brown eye. Um, absolutely sweet, quiet, about seven years old. Gets along with dogs and my cat. Um, great on a leash, great in a car. A happy, happy boy. Calm, gentle. Um, what kind of family? Anything. Anything? This, this dog will be great with any family. What about he, for an older person? Perfect, because perfect. he's good on a leash, he's good in a car, not, he would love company. Right, you cutie pie? He's and got a he beautiful also coat. had a skin. Mm -hmm. He's got a beautiful you, coat. Now, mm -hmm. this is another dog that's being treated by our dermatologist. We have no idea what happened. He's totally, he's great now, but he had no hair from like his belly down. Oh, you'd never know I that. Know. Mm. I know, because the, we got him great baths, right? You had medicated baths, <laughs> uh, special food, and now he's perfectly fine. We cleared up the, uh, all the issues, and he's ready to go. Okay, so if anyone's interested, this is real sweetie. Why don't we bring the next one in? Okay, you really are cute and, and kind. And quiet. And quiet. They're not okay. camera shy, though. No, they are not. No. They're all waiting for their moment. Right. Okay, so who do we have next? This is a puppy. This dog is Shadow. She, although hey, Shadow, Shadow sort of sounds like a kind of a boyish sit. name. Yeah. Can you sit? She mm -hmm. is a, sit. A, an adorable nope. hound mix. She's only about five months old, so my guess is she is going to be a nice-sized dog. Ah. Maybe, um, 
maybe 40 pounds, 50 oh, pounds, because okay. she's a big girl, right? So you need somebody who's strong enough to manage. Well, she's a puppy. She, you, you need exercise. For puppies, we look for people who are home and available to the dog. They're like toddlers. So you wouldn't okay. leave a toddler at your house eight, nine, ten hours while you're at work. You'd have somebody there. If you don't socialize a dog, you're going to wind up with one of those mm -hmm. dogs that growls at everybody, that barks at the door, that doesn't know how to behave in a social situation. So for a, a puppy like this, for all our puppies, we look for homes where somebody's around. Not all the time. We don't expect people to give up their entire lives. But the dog should be included in their lives. Talk a little about the, what's, uh, the leash is attached to a a diff not just a collar. Right. We are very big on these harnesses. It prevents the dog from pulling. It's much easier to walk a dog. When you get the dog used to it, they're not now pulling on their leash and their, their neck isn't getting pulled. And because it's tied at the front, if they try to pull too hard to get in front of you, they're automatically turned around because the leash is going to pull them back. What so is this called? The kind of harness? A harness? I'm not sure if it has a special name. Huh. There are other harnesses mm -hmm. that um, I have a certain kind that is more of a vest, and my okay. dogs work much better on that kind of a harness. Um, but this is the one that we pretty much train all the dogs on. When people come to adopt uh, a dog or a cat, do they get some counseling? I mean, you, you try to match them up. Yes. And, and, and there's a screening process. To there is a screen. There's an application. And we, again, because we look to make the match, we ask for things like, do you have a, a house with a yard? Do you have, are you traveling a lot? What's your lifestyle? How active are you? How many people in and out of your house? Um, so it looks like we're being intrusive, but we don't want to get the dog back in three months saying it wasn't a good match. We want it to be right from the beginning. So when we're talking to people, we do talk to them about the best type of dog for them. We do have a trainer that works with us. Plus we have a list of trainers, local trainers that will work with families. Um, so not counseling as much as advice. We're looking for information, and we've given as much information. We give information about the dog's medical condition, health, heart hist uh, medication history, whatever we've done, the family gets a copy of. Um, okay, why don't we bring our next dog in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are all these dogs uh, pictured on the website? Not all of them yet, because we just got some in, and my two, because they were going, mm -hmm. under tr going through treatment for their skin issues. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you like Shadow's the camera, very do you? Happy. Oh. Is this Heidi? <laughs> this is Heidi. <laughs> hello, Heidi. Okay, hello, Heidi. Heidi, Heidi We hose. have to see the other end, Heidi. <laughs> the other uh, end. No, Heidi is very <laughs> thirsty. Ah, so she helped herself. <laughs> she just had some local live water. <laughs> right, so Heidi is a terrier mix. Okay. She's about um, a year old. She's 37 pounds. And this Heidi is, pretty is much lively. Uh, yes, <laughs> Heidi's very lively, but I get along with everybody. She is like... She loves anybody, any dog, any any critter that comes near her. This Where's dog she from? is thrilled. Again, Texas. You just Texas. happen to get our Texas dogs. So tonight's okay. they're really all from Texas. Um, we got southern dogs. We are southern dogs, yeah. But we have had plenty of our dogs from South Korea, um, Los Angeles, as I said, and a lot from West Virginia. And they just get adopted. I mean, the, what, are the dogs that are coming hi. from warmer climates okay in the winters yes. here? Yes. They, oh yes. You're such a good girl. <laughs> um, yes, they all adapt. In fact, a lot of them are much happier in a cold climate. Oh, interesting. Now, Heidi's on the larger side. Yes. Would Heidi be okay in an apartment? As long as the person is going to get this dog out running a few times a day. A few times a day, that's a Absolutely, lot. it is. Yeah. It's a big commitment. But again, it's a think toddler. Do you want your toddler cooped up in your apartment all day? Now, do you have mm -hmm. to have the strength you know, uh, this is a dog that we would absolutely not give to somebody that could not walk a dog like this. We work on tra telling them how to walk a dog. We will show them. We'll counsel them. Again, they could talk to any trainer. But yes, and the more exercise the dog has, the better it will be on a leash. There are, uh, I've ha had occasion to walk up at Playland in the wintertime. Yes. And the beach seems to be, go goes, goes to the dogs off yes. season. Yes. Yeah. yes. They no, you don't need a leash, and the dogs yes, seem to have great. a wonderful time. Yes. As as well as the owners, there's a lot of socializing it that is. goes on it when is. you have a dog. So we have, um, we also have the uh, Ward Acres in New Rochelle, which is a great dog park, mm -hmm. and there's one in Portchester, 
that opened a couple of years ago from one of our volunteers. She was on the move and she got them to open up a dog park in Port Chester. Uh -huh. So yes, we think all of those socialization pieces are great for the owners and the dogs. Okay. And <laughs> Heidi has had her moment in, in, <laughs> in the limelight yes. and we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be back with more dogs for you. And we're back with our last set of three dogs, okay. all yeah. available for adoption yeah. oh, at Pet yeah. Rescue. Yeah. The information should be on your screen. <laughs> and this one is loving our guest. <laughs> Paula, tell us about this one. Who, who, okay, who, this who do we have? This is Lucky. 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 And, okay. Okay. His brother's <laughs> coming on too. Uh, Lucky is a great puppy. Uh, Lucky is a puppy. puppy. About five months old, about 37 pounds. We're going to be much bigger, a much bigger dog. What's much bigger? Um, 60? You sort of, you, <laughs> you kind of double the weight at five months, but that's really, I mean, I've been off by about 30 or 40 pounds, so I'm not <laughs> the right one to ask okay. about this. Um, but yeah, it's good. She's going to be a big, big lab, lab mix. A lab mix. A lab mix. Okay. Hi. Aren't you cutie? Yeah. So she, um, yeah. She's not wearing he, a microphone, so we can't uh, hear her, but. She's cooing a little. Saying, yeah. So we get the dogs out a lot. Now this dog and the uh, most of the dogs at the beginning were um, all in foster homes, but we just took a lot of dogs in. Mm -hmm. uh, Lucky and the two dogs coming up, uh, next puppies, are at the kennel, but we have people there all the time, walking the dogs, playing the dogs. We have fenced in playgrounds, and we let them out and running, and people do pack walks, so they're used to walking with other dogs. And for people who are just tuning in, uh, you're looking for volunteers. Because Always looking Pet for Rescue volunteers. Because Pet Rescue is a volunteer yes. organization. Mm -hmm. And volunteers to do everything from clerical to, to helping dog walking, care for to the dogs. To dog socializing and cats. Don't forget our cats. I, cats, I did try to get a few cats to join us tonight, but they're not so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of home does Lucky want? Oh, we would like somebody home that, that could really get this dog out and social. This is a family kind of dog? Definitely, definitely. Definitely. This dog is a great family dog. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. Lucky has a sibling here. Yes, is Lucky that ne does. Who's next? Lucky does. Is it an L name or <laughs> or something else? Okay. So we switch to the next dog. Okay. They look alike. They do look alike, and they are siblings. And I am blocking on this one's name. Oh, well, Lucky Luke. sibling. Luke. 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 Thank you, Luke. Okay. Luke. Yes. So Lucky and Luke are siblings. Um, so the same thing goes. They're both happy. Yeah. Now easy. Luke seems a little calmer. Is that, or it's just the moment? Uh, just the moment. Okay. Just the moment. Fair enough. Do um, they and need they, to be adopted deal. together? No, no. We, in fact, we do not adopt dad's siblings together because we always get one back. Why is that? You know, we think that um, as they get older, there's sibling rivalry, and <laughs> they. I, I don't know, you know. I mean, occasionally it'll stick, but more often than not, at some point, and it could be in like five years from now. However, if you adopt one, and then one five six months later, the other one is still available, that seems to work better. Ah, oh, okay. So Luke is also available. About the same age as Lucky. Yeah. Are they from the same litter? Same litter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And same kind of family. They same need a family. Same kind. Active. active. Hap, you know, take the dogs to the park. Um, and it doesn't have to be with young kids. I mean, young kids are great. Teenagers are great. The problem with teenagers, teenagers go away to college and then mm -hmm. the dog is home. So it, it's all about the family. It's about the commitment. And, and we do tell most fam, we tell everyone it's going to be your dog, the parent's dog. Okay. The kids mm -hmm. may be great and responsible and wonderful and love this dog and they're going to college. I still have the dog that my daughter convinced my husband we needed while she was on the way to college and now she's married and has a baby and I still have the dog. There you go. Um, who's our next and final Paul, puppy Paula, what, what does it available? cost to keep a dog for a year? Uh, it must vary, but... We tell people to expect at least a thousand dollars. What about health care for these dogs? Okay, so, okay. Oh, first you have yes. to tell us oh. who this is. Oh, oh what a oh, beauty. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is Dottie. Not from the Hi. same litter, okay. but from the same area. Okay. Hi, Daddy. About the uh -huh. same age. Right? Are you adorable? 
Yeah, she is. Um, so we ask for a $350 donation for, mm -hmm. for dogs. And there is a state mandated um, deposit for spay neuter, which you get back once you've demonstrated that you've had the dog um, fixed. So uh, they don't come fixed necessarily. Right. I, we try to do it as quickly as possible, but sometimes the dogs are very small. So you kind of mm -hmm. wait till they're five, six months old. The ASPCA was advocating for eight weeks old, mm -hmm. which is kind of young, um, but they are, you know, we want to cut down on the, the number of dogs in shelters, so the sooner you get them. Why aren't more people taking care of that in the, in the country? It seems... Uh, I, it's kind is of it the expense? cultural. No, down yeah. south it's amazing. Up here in the northeast, you could pay eight, nine hundred dollars. Um, down south, it could be twenty-five or thirty dollars. Hmm. And people, it's just a cultural thing. So yeah, hmm. right. So but you it's an important thing to do. It's as you very, said, to keep them out of shelters. Yes, and, and it's and it's healthy. You're, you're reducing hmm. the number of things. Um, certain cancers are reduced. Um, other health issues, we've been told, are reduced. Right? Does it affect their temperament? We certainly have not found it. It will calm a male. Um, but again, there are so many factors involved. Mm -hmm. So, oh, so is, amount, but you asked about yes. how much, and that's really important because people do not understand that. It's the food, it's the toys. You want to board a dog, you want to go away. What happens with the dog when you're traveling? Um, even if it's unexpected travel, you have to factor that in. Somebody dies, you have to go to help a sick relative, you're out of, the, out of town, what do you do with the dog? It co it's could be $40, $50 a day to board your dog. Um, so there are expenses that go with it, but they're, they are beautiful they dogs. They are, they are. But know what, the, you know, it still needs vet care, and right. as long as it, it, it's not an emergency, it's still an annual visit to update the shots, uh, do a health check just like you do your children. Um, but they make wonderful family members. They do. And Paula, thank you so much for bringing thank the you. dogs. Just remind us the website if you're interested in any of the pets who are here tonight or others. Yes, many others. www.ny-petrescue.org. And our email is nypetrescue at gmail. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Um, yes, before thank we wrap you. the round table, Mike and I would like to thank Shayla and Kat. Mm -hmm. We will miss you, but you put us, you got our round table going and we will be forever grateful for that. So true, so true. So we wish you well, Shayla, in your new venture and Kat, and we hope you come around again. You don't have to be total strangers. <laughs> That's right. Thank you for joining us and stay tuned. We'll have more community stories coming up in a moment. Mm -hmm.